Some pregnant women will not take their antenatal medication until they are about to give birth. Some will avoid it totally. Some will say it is very bitter. But they will be taking any other thing into their mouth. Anything into their mouth. Drink. Anything. Any food. Anything that is food they will eat. But the antenatal medication, they will avoid it. Mm. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. What is that? No! <laughs> <laughs> Is not a laughing matter. The truth is that you're supposed to start at natal medication, especially the folic acid, two to three months before you even think of becoming pregnant. You're supposed to start this and avoid any other medication that could have affect the baby that is inside of your womb. So you should start preparing, preparing for pregnancy two to three months. So start taking at natal medication, especially the folic acid. The idea of taking folic acid before you become pregnant is that the folic acid is one of the substances that your body will use to produce the brain of your child. If you have taken another medication, especially folic acid, two to three months before you become pregnant, and then you continue it in your pregnancy, that baby is likely going to have a good development of the brain substances. So the brain, the brain of that baby will be very, very sharp. The, the level of intelligence in that baby will be very, very high in most of the studies that have been done and have been conducted. So, this idea of avoiding atlanta medication because it is bitter, it is wrong. What I'm trying to tell you, my sister, is that you should start it two to three months before you think of becoming pregnant. And when you now become pregnant, you have to continue it. Even at the time you are trying to be, be, be pregnant, you have to avoid any medication that may affect your baby. That means if you are sick before you become pregnant, you should meet your doctor, assume you are planning to be pregnant, if you are sick, meet a medical doctor, so the doctor will prescribe medication that will not affect your baby in case you become pregnant within that period of time. Or if you become pregnant, if you become pregnant or you miss your period, you should meet your doctor, so that you, any medication that will be given to you will not affect the baby that is inside of your womb because small medication can affect the development of that baby that is inside of the womb. That is why you are going to have some of these conditions in this screen like some of these things you are seeing on this screen so what you are going to do start medication and avoid any other medications that may affect your baby please remember to help me to share this video so that other people will learn in what i am teaching don't forget to like and then drop your comment if you have any question drop your question i sincerely appreciate thank you for joining me today you are blessed